going to determine the place value of the underlined digit, then find the letter that matches that place value and record it in the code to solve our riddle. So our riddle is, what did one autumn leaf say to another? So here we have whole numbers and decimals. So in number one, here's my decimal. So this would be ones, tens, hundreds thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. So these are millions. So if I go down here and I look at my key for my place values, millions is an I. I'm going to put a letter I here, which was for number one. So number one would be a letter I. Number two, here's my decimal. So that's ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So number two is thousands, which is an M. Number three, here's my decimal. So it actually is a decimal place value. So that's tens, hundreds. So hundreds. Now, if you were to say this one, that would be incorrect because these are decimals. So you have that th in there, hundredths. So this would be correct with my F. Number three would be an F. All right, number four. Here is, I actually don't have a decimal in this one. So this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions. So ten millions is an A. So I put an A down here. Number five, right here is my decimal place. So this is a decimal place value. So that is my tenths. So tenths is an L. Number six, this is a decimal. So that first place value to the right is tenths as well. This was tenths, we knew it was an L. Number seven, here is my decimal. And my underlined digit hmm, is actually not underlined, but it's supposed to be this four, I believe. We'll leave that one blank, let's come back. Number eight, this is my decimal, so that would be ones, tens, hundreds. Hundreds is an N. We had to leave seven open because it didn't have an underline, underline digit, so number eight was N. All right, number nine, here's my decimal. That place value is ones, the ones is a G. Number 10, this is decimals, so um, this would be tenths, hundredths, hundredths. This would be incorrect because it does not have the TH. Hundredths, which is F. So number 10 is F. Number 11, this is a decimal. So that would be tenths, hundredths, thousandths. If you would say this one, that would be incorrect because that's a whole thousands. I want thousandths for my decimal place value, which would be here, which is an O. So number 11 is O. Number 12. This is a decimal. This is my underline. So that would be ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. So ten thousands is R. Number 13, this is a decimal. So that would be ones, then tens. Tens are Y. So 13 is Y. Number 14, this is decimal. And that would be tens, hundreds, thousands. Again, thousands with a TH, so that's an O. Number 14 is O. Number 15, this is the decimal, so that's ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, so hundred thousands is a U. So number 15 is U. So if we go back and look at number seven, I was pretty sure that it was the four. So if we were looking at this, it's I, fall, or U, so that would be an I. So this is good to figure out. So if I were my letter, it would be whatever was in the millions. So if that's my decimal, that would be ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. So the, the four should have been underlined to make this an I. So what did one autumn leaf say to another? I'm falling for you. <laughs>